A Michigan man pleads guilty to murdering and eating the testicles of another grown ass man. More after this. Hello everyone and welcome back to AG's Point of View, where I give you my analysis of the most popular topics in the world today. Today's video, we have a man, a Michigan man, who's eating the testicles of another man. Yep, I said it. Before I dive into the details of the video, if you're new here, welcome. Welcome to AG's Point of View. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button as well. There'll be more awesome, loving, and wonderful people over. Similar to yourself. I'm our normal subscribers. Thanks for coming back. Reluctantly, I'm diving in. A Michigan man pleaded guilty last week to murdering, dismembering, and eating the body parts of another man he met on a dating app. I can stop right there and that'll be the end of the video. I'm good. <laughs> this is crazy. Mark David Latunsky, age 53, of Shiawassee County, Michigan, I don't know what's in the water up there, admitted to in court last Thursday that he killed a 25-year-old hairdresser, Kevin Bacon, and luring the University of Michigan Flint student to his home on December, in December 2019, according to the local news. Latunsky pleaded guilty as charged to mutilation of a body part and, and, open, and to open murder, which encompasses murder in the first and second degree. Okay. Latunsky acknowledged <clears throat> stabbing Bacon in the back and taking part of the dead body to the kitchen where he ate them. After meeting the young man on Grinder, which is a hookup app for gay, bisexual, and transgender men, he reportedly admitted to police that he cut off Bacon's testicles and consumed them. Um, yeah, we're going to stop right there because I don't want to read no more. I'm done. I'm done. Um, yeah, I, I just wanted to bring you guys that story. That's the end of the video. Um, I'm going to see you on the other side. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I, I don't really have much to say about this one. You know what I mean? You know what? Let me, let me find something to say about this, the story and then we're going to keep it moving. The angle that I'm going to take is dating apps. What you guys need to do, okay? I'm sure you're familiar with all these different dating apps or whatever, right? Whether you're gay, bisexual, transsexual, you know, homosexual, you know, heterosexual, whatever you are, whatever sexual you are, that's what you are. You know what I'm saying? It's a dating app for that. Okay. Um, yeah, you guys got to be careful out there. You got weirdos like this dude who just prey on people like that, <clears throat> Jeffrey Dahmer style. Okay and do things like this. There's something really wrong with this dude mentally because no way on God's green earth, okay, would I have even thought of what my man would do. I wouldn't even utter that words out of my mouth, okay? Even if I was one of those, you know, gay dudes or, you know, trans dudes, whatever the case may be. First of all, you murder somebody then you dismember them. Like, I don't get it. Like, I just don't get like the whole sadistic, cannibalistic, you know, lifestyle that these people be living. Like, I, I just don't understand it. I just don't, I totally don't understand it. And, you know, what's in it for them? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, you gotta be being operated by a, a specific spirit, a demonic spirit that's inside of you. That's act, you're acting through all of that. You know what I'm saying? There is no way you can be in your sound mind and a sound body and think of doing something like this. Okay, number one, yeah, I can understand you get that mad that you want to murder somebody. We all human, no one's perfect, okay? But to cut some man's balls off, okay, and consume them for your lunch, 
or dinner time or whatever the case may be, a little scrumptious little snack. Imagine that you walk in on this boy and you see this boy sitting there like with his little knife and his little fork and his little bib or whatever. He cutting up my man nuts. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's going on, dog? Like, I mean, do you just eat them like grapes or whatever? Or like, I mean, how, how you do it? You know what I mean? You get a little knife and you slice little slices or whatever and you just consume them like that. I mean, we are talking about a grown ass man's nuts. You know what I'm saying? His testicles, his, his, his family jewels. Like, I can't make this shit. I can't make this up. <laughs> Yo, like, who does this? Who does this? You know what I'm saying? These mountain men, dog, I tell you, I don't, I don't get it. I don't, I don't know what's going on. So, you know, you like it, I love it. What can I say? The Glizzy Master. Is that what we're doing now? Is that what we're doing in the world now? I mean, I'm cool, cuz, like, you know, this little situation right here got me on my jaw. See, this is the reason why, yeah, I have a profile on all these different dating apps, but I don't go out with nobody. I don't look for nobody, and I ain't talking to nobody. And the reason why I got a profile on there, cuz that was years ago. That was like literally like 10 years ago, okay? So I could care less about dating a chick, going out with a chick, and all that. Listen, I wanna take care of my kids, you know what I'm saying? And you know, they safe and everybody good, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I'm not sure if my days is over uh, you know, you know doing you know, the, the dating thing and hanging out and you know, all that kind of stuff. My days might be over. I don't know. I don't know what tomorrow gonna hold, but as of today, they over with. You know what I'm saying? So I mean I could be reactivated and re energized and you know, maybe later on do it, but you know. Situations like this kind of push me to the, mm, nah, I'm cool, I'm gonna fall back. You know what I'm saying? Cause, and I read a Reddit, ironically, that it was a guy that was saying that um, he told the chick that he wanted, when he went on a date, they was talking about guns and all that. And he said that he wanted to bring a gun on a date. And she was just like, well, that's inappropriate for you to bring a gun on a date. Why would you want to bring a gun on a date? He said, well, I don't know you like that. Uh, she's sitting there saying like, well, you know, you gotta meet me in the middle. I don't feel comfortable with you bringing a gun with us on a date. I just don't, and I understand that. Now, for a guy, yeah, that's kind of like, you know, off the wall, you know what I'm saying? Maybe her, she have a little pearl handle, you know, you know, 25 in my purse, you know what I mean, real diligently and real nice and cute, just in case a man got out of pocket, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, um, for a guy to come out, you know, horribly bringing a gun, you know what I'm saying, it's crazy, but I understand why he might have said that because of situations like this dude, you know what I'm saying, Mr. Latunsky, and, um, you know, he gonna have to be with the straight jacket and the hole sitting in the corner somewhere just staring at the wall all day. Like, you gotta keep your eyes on that dude, you know what I'm saying? Cause, mm, no, I, I can't imagine. I cannot imagine. I have no jokes on these. I mean, I can't even, I don't know. I don't know. I'm lost, if I'm, I'm just lost for words. I read this story five times. And it still hasn't sunk into my head because my, my brain don't calculate like that. You know what I'm saying? No man should cut off another man's testicles and eat them. Why would you do that? Why? So, I don't know. I don't know. This world is crazy. This world is very, very crazy, okay? You need to be careful. Look over your shoulder, left and right. Like I tell all y'all, you know, just be careful out there because these fools out here is crazy. I'm tripping right now. I'm, I know I'm, I sh the, the video should have been over two minutes ago. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just still like, I'm just tripping right now. I'm just really tripping about this whole situation. But with that being said, if you like what you've heard, please don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the like button as well. It'll bring more awesome, loving, and wonderful people over similar to yourself. Um, come visit me on my TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. You know, we do little skits here and there, you know what I'm saying, when I get a chance to. Um, you know, I'm trying to keep up. It's kind of hard with the working the two-job thing and keeping up with the family and doing this and then still doing this and then doing that, you know. So, it's a lot. It's a lot, y'all. So, I mean, I'm doing my very best to entertain you guys, you know, so... If it's not working, then no, I know it's working. I know it's working. Y'all love me. Y'all love me to death. I know y'all do. And I love y'all back. You know what I'm saying?
But with that being said, thank y'all for coming out. Thanks for watching the video to the end. Um, don't hesitate to hit the subscribe and the like button. Those comments are pair, and we need you. We need you over here at AG's POV, because I love doing these. I love doing these stories, and I love the audience that I have. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.